With the Olympics coming up, there are a lot of questionable posts floating around. Take this tweet, which claims a runner named Rebecca Washington is replacing Shakari Richardson on a U.S. Olympic team. It's been shared nearly 10,000 times. I didn't know it was going to go that well. I didn't know I was that good at writing fake news. I did a thing. I don't know if I'm proud of it. I'm kind of proud of it, but I also I also kind of feel bad. I don't know. What did I do? I tricked thousands of people into believing a very fake news story. A news story that was fact-checked by Snopes, PolitiFact, USA Today, and a ton of other news outlets, because that's how many people I tricked. I didn't know I was that good at writing fake news. I did not know. But I found out, and I want to share the results of my little experiment with you, my audience. But real quick before we get into it, I want to talk about my sponsor, Atlas VPN. These guys are great. If you don't have a VPN uh, and you're a guy like me, you use the internet all the time, frankly, you got to get it. You really need the privacy, the data protection, everything else. It is crucial to using the internet in today's day and age. What a VPN like Atlas does, it basically, it hides your location data, okay? So when you're connecting to these websites, it doesn't know exactly where you are. It's hiding your IP, your DNS, okay? And that way you can't be tracked as you're going around the internet. But there's also a lot of just perks you're gonna want. I mean, if you're a guy like me and you're streaming video, you're going on Netflix, Hulu, wherever, a lot of that content is region locked. There are movies and TV shows in other regions that you can't get. You're going to get access to, I don't know, hundreds of new shows and movies that you don't have access to otherwise. It's totally worth it. So Atlas VPN, sign up. We got a link in the description. Got a little uh, promo code for you. I know you probably hear these VPN ads and you brush it off. But seriously, if you don't have one yet, you got you to gotta get one. Atlas VPN, check it out. Let's get into the video. Now, I'm one of these guys. I'm on Twitter a lot, right? I'm always seeing things getting posted around. And I always find it crazy how much the, the fake news, satire type news goes around, okay? Uh, sites like Babylon B, which kind of has a right wing slant, but they're still funny uh, half the time. One site I really like is this one called World News Daily Report. I always see this. Texas man admits kidnapping 79 people will disguise as an alien so he could probe them. Where facts don't matter. That should tell you right there, where facts don't matter. Anyway, so I looked at this. And I was like, hey, they got a good thing going here. You know what would be fun? I want to give it a try. I want to I want to try doing some of this satirical news, writing little fake, obviously fake stories. You know, that might trick a couple people into thinking they're real. But if you actually take the time to look it up, like, obviously, obviously it's not real. A woman found not responsible for 19 murders due to extreme PMS. Like, OK, come on. You got you got to know it's fake. So. I sat down and I'm like, all right, I got to name my fake uh, news network. And I said, how about the Victory Victory News Network? And I play by the Twitter rules. One of the Twitter rules is if you're writing satire, you got to put you got to put in the bio. You got to say, look, it's parody. It's parody. It's not real. OK, you got to know it's not real. And we'll get into we'll get into the fact that you got to do your due diligence when you see these stories. So I started off and I was doing uh, very, very stupid stories. OK, I actually started with this one where. I don't know if you heard about the movie In the Heights. Everybody was mad at it because they said the, the actors were too white. So I made a little story and I said, well, they're actually going to go in and uh, digitally darken their skin or they're going to do a blackface cut, basically. Okay? Eh, a little funny. I actually got, got good, good traction for my first thing. I will say, I have some friends on Twitter. I have a lot of followers. And I said, can you retweet this? I want to see if I, if I know how to write uh, fake news. And they, and they helped me out and I got a little bit of traction. This one was big. This one got a lot of traction. Again, this is fake. You should know this is fake news. I know I know. people keep saying, they're like, no, the world's so weird. You can never tell if anything's fake. Come on. Scarlett Johansson is not this dumb. I said, Scarlett Johansson says she's proud to star in the world's first female-led comic book movie. Star of Black Widow says, it's about time. Okay, obviously there's other female. Scarlett Johansson knows that Wonder Woman exists. She knows that Captain... She was in a movie with Captain Marvel. OK, she's obviously not that dumb, but obviously you see 360 uh, quote tweets. So I'm going along and making these little stories. They're not they're not really getting a crazy traction. They're doing OK. Actually, they ended up doing OK. I was mad this one didn't do good. I said Cosby was coming back as the Jell-O Pudding Pop spokesman. 
I was like, come on, that's hilarious. Didn't get big traction. All right, here's my big story. Here was my big one. So let me preface this. Let me let me go. Uh, I think we all know this story. Or like a lot of people heard this story. Shakiri drug test. Okay. So uh, there is a, let's see, New York Times. Uh, there was this lady, Shakiri uh, Richardson, who everybody was really excited about because she qualified for the Olympics. And, I, you know, her qualifying for the Olympics was this big triumph. I think her grandmother had died, like, the week before. So it was like, oh, isn't that great? You know, her grandma was probably watching over her, making sure she's going to win all the races. And then she tested positive for for the MJ, the uh, Mary Jane, and uh, got banned from the Olympics. Okay. Well, kind of put an end to that feel-good story uh, pretty pretty quickly. Uh, so I was looking at that, and I'm like, well, not only is that funny to me, uh, but the thing is, the other, so three people qualified for the Olympics out of that race, right? And it was three, it was three black ladies. They were all very fast, all won the race. Fourth place was a white lady named Jenna Prentini. <laughs> so I thought, I'm like, oh, that just adds insult to injury that not only does, does this black lady not get to one or win, but white bread's taking it away from <laughs> I was laughing. I'm like, white bread. White bread is taking away uh, the uh, the dang win from her. So then I started thinking. I'm like, oh yeah, I have that little Twitter where I write like fake news stories. And I'm like, well, this is. I think this is already kind of a funny story that a a black woman who uh, arguably you know was the best in the field came in first should be running, but because of a stupid drug thing, it's like, nope, sorry, we're giving it to the white lady. I was like, that's already a little bit funny. And I'm like, well, let's let's play it up a little bit. So, I came up with this. Okay, I'll read the whole thing. Fourth place runner Rebecca Washington is set to replace Shakari Richardson on the U.S. Olympic team. The Mormon athlete says she hopes to help inspire the nation's children to say no to drugs. Okay? And then she says, her replacement says, this is all part of God's plan for me. Fourth place runner says Jesus Christ put her on the U.S. Olympic team. Okay, uh, let me break down. There's there's a few elements to this joke. Okay, first of all, again, white lady is replacing a hardworking black lady over a stupid, stupid technicality. And I was like, well, let's not use her actual, you know, I don't want to use the actual athlete's name. So I said, what's the most stereotypical white name I could think of? Rebecca, Becky, Becky with the good ass, right? Washington, okay, first president pretty white name i was like yeah let's give her a very white name uh and then i said what would be funnier than just her taking over i'm like well it would also be funny if she believes that this is god's will that god personally intervened to have her opponent fail a drug test like that's what god does jesus sits around and he goes no nope, i need i need jenna on the team i need i need rebecca washington on the team I'm gonna I'm gonna get her black opponent disqualified because I need a white lady on the team. I was like, that's already funny. And then to add insult to injury, make her a Mormon. Which to be frank, people think Mormons are weird. Maybe I'm maybe that's a low blow. Am I punching down with the Mormon? I was like, ah. They're very religious. I thought it played into it. And that the idea that she hopes to help inspire the nation's children to say no to drugs. So again, she's coming in, coming down on marijuana, which is the most, who cares if you smoke it, but she's coming in going, well, I hope you say no to drugs, you know, trying to be this overwhelming positive role model. Now, I will say, I have one, I have one big regret, and my one big regret is that I should not have used her photo. If you can tell, I actually photoshopped a different face onto her face, but it's not different enough, I'm going to say. I should have just found a picture of a completely different runner rather than the actual person who was taking over. Because what happened, I don't know if you guys can see over here in the 9,374 quote tweets, uh, this, went, this went a bit viral. Didn't go just a bit viral. It went it went heck of viral. So Black Twitter found this, just sharing it around like crazy. 9,000 quote tweets. I don't know if you use Twitter, but that means people are reposting on their page for everybody else to then continue quote tweeting. Okay, so probably, I don't even know how many times this got shared. Maybe like 100,000 times. Because let's look over some of the guys who are retweeting it. One of the big ones was this guy, just City Bros. He's like a nobody user but again you never know whose tweets gonna go viral he goes congratulations to jamaica on the gold medal 
Okay, that was a comment from a lot of people. They're like, well, we're going to lose. We can't win. We can't win without Shakiri Richardson. We also had, I, I, I tried to get all those screenshots, a lot of these verified accounts who, frankly, should know better. I think if you have the little check mark next to your name, you should be able to tell fake news. We had Kyle Kalinske with a big, uh, big F U, 13,000 likes. We got Jessica Vosk, Evan Damarell, Dante Hitchcock. I don't know who these people are, but again, they're verified. They're not supposed, you're supposed to know. I want to be very clear to you guys. If you see a story that's too good to be true, it confirms too many of your biases. It seems too, too perfect. Isn't this too perfect? That not only does the black lady not get to run, but the, the white lady, the Mormon, says Jesus wants her to run. And uh, also she hates drugs. Isn't it a little too good to be true? All you have to do is click on the thing. And to be clear, when I posted that, this was like a brand new account. I'd had it for like a month or two. I had about 200 followers. <laughs> I had 200 followers. And at the time, I now I now did set up a, uh, a site. But at the time, uh, all these links were not real. If you clicked any of them, there was no website. I didn't have a website yet. I was just doing it on Twitter. I had 200 followers. And again, in the <laughs> right here, it's parody. It's parody. I said it. I said it. So this was going so viral. It was going so viral. And again, this is why I started feeling bad, is that people started coming at the actual runner lady. I got it in here in my screenshots. Let's see. We had this, I felt bad. Jenna Prandini. Jenna, I'm sorry. I'm not admitting guilt, okay? Don't sue me because I do. It is satire, and I know it's satire, and I'll defend that to the death. But I feel bad that dumb people don't understand satire and came at you. Jenna says, I'm excited to be representing my country for my second Olympics in the 200 meters. But I'm saddened to address the hateful and fake articles now circulating. It's not hateful. It's a joke. It's not hateful. I made up a fake lady. It's not you. Any article claiming I made statements regarding the current situation are completely false. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Because I didn't use your name. It's a different. It's a whole different person. Then we had Pace Sports Management, her management company. Which also, you know, is the management company for a bunch of runners like Usain Bolt. So the PR people are stepping in. Jenna Prandini finished fourth. I can't believe they had to write this whole statement. Just say there's a funny news article going around. Uh, it's not Jenna. It's somebody else. Okay. So they say a fourth place person is now going to get to run. There's been a number of fabricated, hurtful, and nasty comics directed at Jenna. She's not saying anything about the situation, despite what's circulating on social media. People have the right to disagree with the rule and lobby to make changes for the future, but these frustrations do not be directed at Jenna. Please be kind. I agree. It's got nothing to do with her. It's got everything to do with Rebecca. Rebecca Washington. Now, this was going this was going viral. And I, it did, I did see these statements from her, from her management, and I said, look, I know you're not supposed to break character, but this seems like one of those uh, rare times where I want to make it very clear. A lot of people were getting very mad. A lot of people were very steamed. A lot of people were like, this is an outrage. I can't believe this awful white lady, blah, blah, blah. So I went, look, this is a parody account. We write funny fake news. If you see someone taking one of our made-up stories way too seriously, please let them know it's a joke. Okay? Some people were going a little too far. Let's uh, dial it back. We're going to let them know it's a fun joke. We're having fun. Did that stop the crowd? No, because these people are idiots. And they don't know. If you click the little circle, you, you, untold truths are delivered onto you. You need to do this. I need you. I implore you guys. Before you share a fake news article, anything. A lot of times they'll make like a screenshot. It'll say like, here's a New York Times article. And if you try to search for the headline or the author, it's a fake article. I mean, look at how easy it is for me. Maybe maybe these look legitimate, okay? Because I have this little format where you know it kind of looks like a news station put together. But this this is just Photoshop. Anybody can put this together. Anybody can make a little a little circle that says VNN. That doesn't mean anything. Do you understand this? So here's here was my greatest uh, triumph. Here's where I truly felt uh, happy was uh, when I <laughs> they I started getting fact checked. That's how I knew I had arrived. Viral image from political Politifact. One of the big debunking sites. Viral image, Rebecca Washington will be replacing Shakiri Richardson on the U.S. Olympic team. That's false. Not correct. I got PolitiFact. Who else did I get? I got USA Today. It says Shakiri Washington's being replaced by Rebecca Washington, a Mormon runner. A July 5th Instagram post was liked more than 8,000 times. That's the other thing. It does not stop. On Twitter, it makes its way over to all the other... I'm sure it was on Facebook. I checked some Facebook groups. It was over on Instagram. 16,000 likes. 
from Giraffe Knowles. Just these random people. Somehow, it's just and it, viral. It goes viral. And it's completely fake. Why does nobody stop at any point in the process to go, I don't know, it sounds too good to be true. Sounds too good to be true. Snopes! As far as we can tell, as far as you can tell, there is nobody with the name Rebecca Washington who could possibly take Shakiri Richardson's sight. I got on Snopes! Does she exist? It's satire. It's satire. It comes from Victory News Network. Look at how bad my logo used to be. It was just red. It was a red circle with some letters. I didn't even have the nice looking one. And even we even got this guy. We even got this guy ranting. Let's listen to this real quick. The only reason you're here is because Tanya Randall got pregnant and decided not to come. <laughs> He's not happy. He's not happy with Rebecca Washington. Rebecca Washington, he says, should have just sat there and ate her food. It's okay to not be okay. So here's here's the moral of the story. If it's not from a site that you know, like Fox, CNN, MSNBC, or whoever, okay? If you have literally never heard of the place, all you got to do, I'm gonna, I, I keep showing you this. It's so easy. You click the little button. You're going to go to their profile, and you're going to see it's parody. Read the description. Hopefully in the description it says it's parody. If you go to my new site, victorynews.online, right here at the bottom, this is a parody website, dummy. So ultimately, what did I learn from this experience? I just learned, I learned that people just will buy anything. It's the confirmation bias. If it confirms what you feel in your heart, if you feel in your heart that this woman was uh, unfairly denied her chance on the team because of her drug uh, thing or whatever, okay, you're mad about that, and you probably want someone to unleash your anger on, you want a target, and somebody shows up and they go, it's her, here's your target, Rebecca Washington. I mean, it's this hive mind mentality, you get mad, you're like, oh, I want to, you know, you want to yell at this lady, but don't let your emotions cloud your judgment, don't fall for this fake stuff. I implore you, get used to using Google. Get used to using Google. Because all you got to do is you go Rebecca Washington. And put runner. Put Olympics. Okay, put a couple words. What are you going to get? No. Viral posts mislead on Richardson's Olympic. This was AP News, the Associated Press. If you can trust anybody, the Associated Press is pretty good. Pretty good politifact. to Snopes. And even if this doesn't come up, if you don't find any results, if you don't find any headlines... Might be fake. It might be fake. Point is, I tricked the internet. I don't feel bad about it. It was a good joke. Uh, the only thing I feel bad about is some people are a little too stupid, took it a little too seriously, maybe took it a little too far, but hopefully it's a learning lesson. Hopefully you learned a little something. If, if, if one fat guy who's bored, literally, I'm just bored. I have better things I should be doing, but I said, I want to make fake news. I'm bored. It took me two seconds. I found an American flag. I made a fake logo. I came up with a little, a little uh, thing here, a little format, okay? It's a simple little template. I plug in two pictures and I change the headline. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Don't fall for it. Look for a source. Google the headline. Google the author. Don't fall for fake news. And especially don't fall for satire. Don't be that guy with egg on your face because you thought the onion was real. Don't do it. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? I had a lot of fun. Did you enjoy my fake viral news? Did you fall for it? Are you one of the guys who retweeted it, quote tweeted it? Don't be don't be ashamed to say it, because you learned a lesson here today. You learned that Vito's out to trick you with his little fun news stories. We got more videos coming soon. Thanks for coming by. And uh, again, you got to keep an eye out. You got to be smarter than the average bear. You can do it. Only you can prevent forest fires. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> See ya.